Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about torque versus horsepower. In this video, I will be explaining some of the basics of torque and horsepower, and I will also be talking about some of the differences between torque and horsepower. So let's get right to it. I'll start off by talking about torque. Torque is stated as pound feet of torque. It represents how much twisting force is actually at work. Imagine that I have a wrench that is attached to a bolt and the wrench is one foot long and I am twisting with 100 pounds of pressure. With all of that in mind, I will be applying 100 pound feet of torque. This is simply because the wrench is one foot long and I am applying 100 pounds of pressure. So with that being said, when I do the calculation, one foot times 100 pounds, one times 100, is 100 pound feet of torque. Similarly, if I had a wrench that was two feet long and I was twisting with 100 pounds of pressure, I would be producing 200 pound feet of torque. This is simply because I was using a wrench that was two feet long and I was applying 100 pounds of twisting pressure. So if I multiply those numbers together, two feet times 100 pounds, two times 100, it will give me an answer of 200 pound feet of torque. So as you can see, torque is basically a mathematical calculation of twisting force. And because torque is basically twisting force, it gets a car moving at lower speeds. So when thinking about a car race, a car requires a great deal of twisting force to get started from a standstill. So a car's ability to get the wheels moving when starting from a complete standstill is highly dependent on torque. However, once you get moving, torque becomes less important and horsepower becomes more important. And with that being said, I will be addressing horsepower right now. Torque is based on mathematics, as you have heard me explaining throughout the beginning of this video. Horsepower is also highly based on mathematics. Basically, one horsepower is equal to the amount of power that it takes to perform 33,000 pound-feet of work in one minute. When you translate that into a per second basis, it is equal to the amount of power that it takes to perform 550 pound feet of work in one second. Horsepower is a mathematical measure of work and it is based on torque. When we translate this to cars, it is basically the ability to create power at high speeds. Also, when thinking about cars and keeping in mind the idea of a rotating crankshaft, one horsepower is equivalent to exerting 550 pound-feet of torque per second or 33,000 pound-feet of torque per minute. A common way of thinking is horsepower picks up where torque leaves off. But I can't take credit for that phrase because I have heard it being said and seen it being written many times. I use the phrase often to help the explanation of horsepower versus torque, but I definitely did not come up with that phrase. 
And that's basically it. In this video, I have provided you with a basic explanation of torque versus horsepower. I have briefly explained what each of them are, and I have also talked about some of the differences. Once again, torque is basically a measure of twisting force, and horsepower is basically a measure of work that is based on torque. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.